Today I'm going to show you a little bit about my gun drill. Uh, it's a super cool tool for drilling holes in your forms and uh, you got to have one. Hey, I'm Trent Bosch. I want to show you how uh, to use my gun drill. So the gun drill is a great tool for drilling deep holes in our forms. I use it mainly for starting my hole in my hollow form. Just gives me a really nice straight line going down to the center. Um, allows me to know about where my depth is going to be in my forms and um, gets rid of that center nub that's always so difficult to deal with. So the gun drill is a tool that basically, it looks like a gouge almost. You know, as far as the tool itself, it has a flute, um, this particular uh, tool has a carbide tip on it and it's ground in a way that allows for air to pass through this whole tool and then evacuate the shavings as we're drilling those sh this, this hole. So it really allows us to you know, drill a very quick, easy hole in the material. Also, we've got a handle mounted on there so we can hang on to it with a little ball valve and an air fitting at the end so that we can then turn it on and off depending on um, what we're doing with it. So um, the first thing I wanna do when I'm um, going to be planning on using the gun drill is to, to um, kind of develop a little a starter hole for the gun drill. So let's do that right now. I've just kind of mocked up a piece real quick here. Uh, just a cylinder. It could be a lamp. It could be a, you know, a hollow form. It could be a bowl. It could be whatever you're planning on um, drilling this hole through. Um, but the, my, my first step is just to kind of clean up the face a little bit. Once I get it cleaned up enough that I am going to be ready to start working on it, I'll get rid of my tailstock. And when I get rid of my tailstock, kind of my general thing that I always do is I just double check and make sure the tightness of my chuck is still there. So it's still good. Um, and then I'm gonna move my tool rest around the front of my piece to give myself a little better access to where I'm working. And let's go ahead and take a cut across the face of here just to get rid of that nub. So we've gotten rid of that little nub there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little spindle gouge and I'm gonna set the heel of the bevel down on that spindle gouge. And I'm just gonna take and cut a couple of um, little, I guess I would call them V's. That are gonna start to give my um, drill a really good start in my form. So I'm going to do one more. And then I even like to take it a little step further and just kind of go straight in and have that starter hole there now for my gun drill to go right in. That way I guarantee that that gun drill is going to be going right down the center of this form. I'll go ahead and I'll hook my gun drill to my compressed air. Make sure that my hose is out of the way. And I like to drill with this tool upside down. So I'm gonna put the flute facing upside down, which is kind of different for us wood turners because we would never have our flute facing down in our, on our tool. But it works great for this tool because those shavings that are being blown out of this, this flute, um, you don't want them flying up in your face. They just go right down to the floor, which is where they belong. So. Um, the other, I guess another thing I should share with you too is how deep do you want to drill this? You know, if we, if we don't have any kind of mark on here, we could drill way too deep and, and end up with a hole in the bottom of our piece. So what I have or what the gun drill comes with is these little stoppers that we can mount on here. And this little stopper just kind of goes on. You, put, you hook it on one side and then you pull it around and it snaps in place on the other. And to pull it off, you just kind of pull it off of one side and then spin it around and pull it off. So, and then they slide on that gun drill to whatever distance you choose to have uh, your hole drilled to. We're just gonna pick a random distance on this particular one because it really doesn't matter that much. And um, so when I'm drilling, I generally drill at a similar speed uh, to what I was turning at, if not just a little bit slower than what I was turning at. 
And I usually open the ball valve on the tool just a little bit to get the air flowing and start to flush those shavings out as I start to drill. So I'm gonna set it in there. Let's open the ball valve. Just feeding it right down there, down to my stopper. I'll turn the air off, I'll pull it out. And now we've drilled a nice, easy, quick hole down to that distance that we wanted to. Um, super quick, easy tool to use. Uh, but drills really, really efficiently in these materials. Um, these gun drills aren't just a, a carryover from the metalworking industry, which was where they, uh, they started out. They used them in very long bores in metal, and as they're boring those hol holes in the metal, they run coolant through there to flush those shavings out. Um, they use a different grind on theirs than we use for wood. So this is a grind specifically uh, designed for um, wood for us, and it works really good. So I hope that gives you a little better understanding about the gun drill and how it's used. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to contact me um, and feel free to subscribe, like, and share this video with whoever you want. Thanks for watching.